Well, well, well. Look what he look what we have here. Some scrub thinks he's capable of making let's plays on YouTube. Damn straight folks. I'm back to make you suffer in agony as I horrendously try to do a let's play. It's been what? Six months? Since I last uploaded a YouTube video. That's most likely the case. I need to figure out what the hell I'm doing. The tower in the black marsh beyond the dark wood. Alright. So yes, welcome back to my pathetic excuse of a let's play. I don't remember... Oh. I guess I remember well enough. And the deafening sound effect. Me losing my hearing. As I play this damn game. Because it is loud with this headset. I currently have it at 1%. Alright, so. No. I came from Stonyfield through the underground passage to the dark wood. I found the stone, rescued Deckard Kane the tree up in the dark wood. That means I need to continue onward. Into the As I can barely hear over everything. exactly remember all how to play and whatnot. But running around bashing things with my gun. Something of some sort. My weapon. I remember how to do that. It's everything beyond that. Like whether or not items like the sorcerer's resort that I picked up is worth its weight in gold. Or ten times as much as dearly. Now, some of you may be wondering if anybody's actually watching this, why I'm back doing YouTube. It's because having a conversation with my friend at work more or less inspired me to get back to. Ooh, neat. I'll take more of those. Yeah. See, seeing so intrigued that I had a YouTube channel. Damn thing was hard enough to find on YouTube because apparently typing in the channel name in Dark Souls doesn't do Disney Plus. It brings up everyone else's messes. Playing Dark Souls. So you know how you find my channel on YouTube? Just reference one of Gabe's videos. In particular, the Only Geary game he plays. And just type in Free Hentai. No, that's not how you find the channel. 
You type in what am I gaming and then free hentai. And then bam, right at the top of the search bar is Gabe's only Giri game video titled Free Hentai. Which is sort of clickbait in that it's poor clickbait because he actually doesn't show any thumbnail tempting you to click it. No, it's just the titles blatantly lies to you saying that there's porn available if you click on the video. Which is how we roll here on YouTube. The lion Because your tears are all the comforting we need. Because the only way to actually get any attention on YouTube nowadays is to lie to people and make them click on your video with alluring thumbnails. Kind of like how I did with the uh, video fighting Quilag and Dark Souls. Just had the thumbnail as her mother right below where her. That should have been shown. And that got the most, uh, that's the most clickbaity video on our channel because that got 200 and something views, 237 I think, compared to Gabe's 150 or so. So suck it. You need an alluring thumbnail in order to act, in order to do clickbait right. But all that is beside the point in the fact that I'm back doing what plays, at least for the time being. Probably going to lose interest again, but why not? And there's another gem. And I really like how I barely have to kill anything, because everything is killing stuff for me. And it's my job to summon. If you could kind of piss off, that would be nice. Not that I understand about how sound mixes work or anything, but I'm guessing I'm going to be drowned out to the sound effects of the game. Because that's how that works. But it's not like I have anything interesting to say now. I'm just sitting at home, playing the game, and commentating on it. Commentating? Doing commentating. I don't know. And I would love to do better stuff, like playing. Dishonored 2 at uh, maximum resolution and visual graphics. But that's not going to happen because I have no idea when it comes to what I'm doing when it comes to video cards. Right now I got a $400 paperweight sitting on my table about 10 or so feet behind me. Why? Because fuck if I know what I'm doing. I just put more money on hardware I don't understand. That's okay. It's not like this is going to amount to anything anyway. I'll just be content with... video card and processor and to how you run it they say that my processor is out of date which is understandable because it's about I can't carry anymore. four years old same with my video card 
My computer, for the most part, is four years old. Time to check it and get a new one. I am too much of a non-PC master race scrub to properly understand or even bother trying to look up how to, you know, install a video card right. I did my research, made sure that the dimensions of the new card were adequate so that it could actually you know, fit inside my tower, my piece of garbage $50 tower. I paid $50 for this because I'm a cheapskate and I don't want to spend $200 on a tower. Because screw getting a decent computer. This place reeks of death. I can imagine. Explore the similar dungeons beneath the tower ruins. Alrighty. I can kind of remember why I missed it. Holy shit, that's all of them. Got the chance of the bastards in here. Down my golem's head. When did that happen? And I leveled up. When did that happen? So, to top up the fact that my computer is more or less a piece of garbage, this doesn't cost me anything, right? 1820? No. In the old Diablo game, it used to cost you money to have to pay. Okay. Uh, identify items for you. So as I was saying, to illustrate the fact that my computer is a piece of garbage is that uh, my mouse is now starting to act up on me and that the left mouse button now sometimes double clicks whenever I try to click. Two thousand four hundred and nine. Oh, lightning damage, that's why I'm using that. I prefer the strength and the maximum damage. 1365. Yeah. My mouse has a tendency of double clicking now. At least on the left mouse button. So now I swapped it out so that I use my right mouse button for everything. And that isn't awkward at all because I've been doing it for several weeks now, a couple of months. Can't even use this, but yeah, even unidentified eagle orbs or sorceress wands have a pretty penny on them. Like this one is 1157 gold to sell, and it's socketed, a couple of spells, and it's plus five to mana. So it's worth picking up junk like that. Because it's all about the money in this game. Why are you in there? Uh, 
repair my gear. So yeah, getting what a new mouse need? would be fine and dandy. Getting a new headset would be welcome as well. Because mine isn't all that comfortable. I'm not going to cheap out again when it comes to headsets. Level 12, no? Requirement? Oh. Well, look what level I am. I don't even remember what the crap I was doing with my character's build. I'm keeping energy to more or less the minimum. This requires 45 mana. 50. For a fire golem. 35. Passive. Yeah, since I'm only going to focus on summoning. Yeah. Skeleton mages would be nice. So yeah, I was focusing more or less on physical stats than energy. As long as I have enough to summon at least one golem, something that would be nice. Especially at level 30. Fire golem costs 50 gold. Gold. 50 mana. But yeah. Uh. Pardon me for being silly right now. I need to check something. Thirty is forty. Strength is thirty-five. Yes. Oh, that thing. Yeah. Okay. So that's what that was. Figure the crap out. Couldn't figure out why my strength was like that. And the blue light filter I got going on my computer right now isn't doing me any favors. F2, F3, no, F2, F3, F4. Alright then. So yeah, next time I'm not going to crap out on headphones. That's a pain in the ass. These are a pain in the ass. Doing a D&D session with my friends isn't all that comfortable either. Because I can only wear these for about an hour at the time. And again, it's not like I haven't worn them longer before. Ended up having a game set in the last day of the day at 2 o'clock in the morning. Which was fan diddly tastic. Especially options I only like the two characters, two players, didn't have much going on at the time. To, uh, with their little endeavor. Are you worth anything? Spirits, though. Maybe. Oh, that's wonderful. Is that yellow? I can't tell. Blue light filter. It is yellow. That is worth identifying. Carrion Rack Bardish. 2 to 33. Normal attack speed. Plus 27 poison damage over 6 seconds. 5 seconds. Right. Let's see how well this works. I'm not doing much in the line of the other shit anyway. So let's just see how well this. Weapon works. 
So yeah, my headphones are uncomfortable. My mouse is starting to bug out on me. My PS3 controller, which I was using to play games on my PC, is now starting to crap out on me. I'm trying to play Fallout 4. Just had crap to deal with. Color. Couldn't even properly deal with uh, menus and whatnot because pressing one, pressing either the left thumbstick or directional pad would always get to press twice. Want of it. So I couldn't even go to options to select not to have that going on. So now I can, can't can play Fallout 4 or Skyrim without messing around in the controls. I can expect the game files to have like a disable or enable controller option that I could tweak and work around that. But once again, I'm lazy and I don't feel like it. And I got better stuff to do. We're trying to get this YouTube channel back alive. Nothing. Drink. So is this kind of worth it? Ideally, yeah, but then again, not really. I am tired. It's nice and all to have a bit more damage, but then again, all my minions are doing that for me. So having a shield do the job is always more convenience on my part. I won't be able to carry this bow, can I? Excuse me. Burping up a storm. Unless I get this over here and do this thing and that thing and Bob's my uncle. Bob isn't really my uncle. Back to town, identify this crap, sell it, and then stay a while and listen. Repeat ad infinitum. Yes. Uh, spear of amplified damage. Nope. Seven, two to six, still some mana. I'm only gonna get this because it has a faster attack speed. Faster hit recovery, enhanced defense. Belts full up. Oh, look 
with uh, more strength charms. Can't wait to do all that again. A long time ago when I used to play this game. I was playing a druid. Made it to about Act 3 or so before I stopped playing. But I remember playing that druid and making it to that act and having something of a wall to run up against. Decided to more or less retweak my character's build because I had no space for inventory because I was just carrying nothing but charms on me. Well, not nothing but charms. Still had my to tomes of town portal and identify. But I had like one quarter, like about up to here, just filled with charms. Up for a bunch of different stuff like walk speed and such. And I remember once I got rid of those charms, that did not do me any favors. Another game I recently gotten into. Oh, not another game. Just something that's caught my interest is Darkest Dungeon. Kind of reminds me a lot of Diablo. But I played that for about one level, stopped for about a month, and got back into it because I decided to get kind of fate on my computer and I played that for one level and then I realized hey this reminds me a lot of Darkest Dungeon I should get back to playing that so I played one level of Hand of Fate and then I went back to Darkest Dungeon and I've been getting further into it still have no idea what the crap I'm doing dispose of the evil countess Ready. Oh god, the lightning. Ow. It's dead. Yay. I think I need a healing potion. Yay. So, to those of you unaware, which shouldn't be empty because everyone should have played this game, and if not, then what have you been doing with your life? Get out of the rock you've been living under and go play this game. So, anyone unaware, this is a Yeah, this is a decent method of acquiring gold because look at all that. 
killing the Countess is always a profitable endeavor because her chest opens up, her treasure chest, and all this gold drops on out of it. The stuff around the chest doesn't seem to be too fancy, but she has some um, decent minions protecting her. And I'm guessing they drop a decent bit of coin as well. So that's the thing as well. Okay. I can't carry anymore. Get you in a minute. Key, Tal Ruin, I am one. overburdened. Of course I am. If, if I didn't have so many goddamn potions. Uh, portal. Kick the barrel. Okay. okay, is there anything I can do? Move. Move. Not really? Question mark? No. So I'll be back for all this stuff. Greetings. Your rewards are well earned. To us, the tower was nothing more than a headstone looming over a long-forgotten grave. Hello. I need to talk to King. Yes? Forgotten tower. Well done, my friend. Courage and opportunity together have created in you a kind of alchemy. Where can I take you? Remember, wealth is as insubstantial as a cloud and passes as quickly. Ignore Geed. All that twitters is not bold. All that twitters is not bold. I guess that means not everything said is important. I thought the stories of treasure in the tower were nothing but lies. I am glad you found something of value in that death trap. Would that our sisters had been so fortunate. Long for it. No. Fourteen. Four. Mm. Defense of sixty two. Twenty one per cent of devil kin. Oh. Thirty three and twenty one. Thirty and twenty seven. Yeah, I'll take that over some resistances because I don't really have too much of a problem with elemental stuff at the moment. 9 to 23. Nope. Key. Sell these potions. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Tower room. Poison damage. Poison. Poisonous Talru. Yeah, whatever I was talking about has completely skipped my mind. I know it's not socketed, so I don't have to worry about that. Good day. Prepare my gear. Again. So I earned about 7,000 gold. Just going from one floor to another, if I'm not mistaken. I need to talk to Charcy and Geed about the Forgotten Tower, because why not? Those riches will serve you well on the long road ahead. Yeah, seven grand is some pretty pennies. Good day. Warreave's advice is like corpse gas. It befouls the air for a moment, and then it disappears. Guitar throwing X. Guitar, there it is. Can't see anything over the screen.
green stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I completely forgot what I was talking about, as usual. And in the next part, I guess I'm going to be continuing with the other stuff. Like going through the rest of the Black Marsh and onward. Alright then. Thank you everybody for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye bye.